and now I'm going to create a new query. So I'll go to the Create tab, and I'm going to do a query in Design. Okay, now based on the criteria that I specified before, this is going to be the job pay query. It's going to display the technician's last name and their hourly rate. Now that information is going to come from the technician's table. So let me go ahead and show the technician's table. And I'm going to close this for now. So technician's last name and their technician rate. Now I also want to display the job ID and the job hours. That information is going to come from a different table. So I need my show table dialog box. These are my available tables. And now I want the jobs perform table because that's where the hours are located. Close this. Now I'm going to display the uh, job ID and the job hours. And in this fifth column down here, I'm going to create another calculated field, a calculated query. And this is going to be my job pay. So I'm going to go ahead and right click and zoom. That'll give me more room to work. And now I'm going to type out my field. So let me just move that there. My new field is going to be job pay colon and now the formula. And simply enough, the job pay is calculated as a multiple of technician rate times job hours. Notice since I'm using existing field names in my calculation, those get enclosed in square brackets. So the field technician rate, which is a currency, times job hours, which is a number, will give me how much that job cost. I'll click OK, tab away, and I'm going to run this. Here we go. And doing a little math in our head, we can easily confirm that we're accurate. So Levine, for this particular job, $25 an hour. It was a two-hour job. So we owe Levine, as the business owner, 50 bucks. And, um, and there we go from there. So obviously someone making $35 an hour, work for one hour, $35. OK, that looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Save. And this query is going to be called Job Pay. Now that I've got a couple queries, I want to create a report. So I'm going to go to my Create tab, and I'm going to create a report using the wizard. So I'll use Report Wizard. And the report that I'm asking you to show here is this is going to be a total pay report that it's based off, the, based off of the job pay query. The report should show all fields and group by the technician last name. So this report is going to be based off of the job pay query. It's going to use all of the fields and I'm asking you to group it by the technician. So I'll click Next, Technician Last Name. I'll make that the grouping level. And from here, I'm just going to click Finish. OK, so this is the report that the report wizard has created for me. It, of course, has grouped the various jobs by the technician. And I can see, for instance, that Levine worked two different jobs. Now, I didn't include the job dates or anything like that. But they worked two different jobs, and they were both two-hour jobs, $50 each. Now, I'm going to customize this report a little bit. I'm not going to spend any time customizing the formatting, the colors, text, and things like that. You can certainly do that on your own. But I would like to include some totals here. I would like, to, for instance, to know what is Rodriguez's total pay, what is Torres's total pay, what is Levine's total pay, and then I would like to see a master total of all three technicians and all of their jobs combined. Now to do those things, I'm going to close out a print review of this report. And I'm in, uh, and I want to be in Design View, which is currently what this is. And of course, if you're not in Design View, you can click on your View button over here in the top left corner and make sure that you are in Design View. I'm going to close that field list so I have a little bit more room to work. So this is Design View of my report. Now, first I'll do the grand total. Now, the grand total is going to be a calculated control. There's three basic kinds of controls. There's bound controls, unbound controls, and calculated controls. For instance, job pay up here in the report header section is an unbound control. It's simply a label, um, a basic text box, really. And you can change this, job pay summary for JMS tech wizards. 
So changing an unbound control is quite easy. You just simply make the change, go to Report View, and you can admire your correction. I'll jump back over to Design View. Now a bound control is tied specifically, or bound specifically, to a database field. For instance, in the Detail section, these are bound controls. By the way, this is a bound control in the Technician Last Name Header section as well. So technician rate, job ID, job hours, job pay are all bound controls. If I were to mistype or change the spelling in here, it would break the report. So I don't want to do that. So those are bound controls. And then we want some calculated controls. Now my calculated control is going to go into the report footer section, which I currently can't see. So I'll put my mouse right about here, click and drag down, and give myself some room in the report footer area. And I'm going to create a calculated control. I'm going to use the text box control and I'll just click and drag a text box. There we go. So by default it says it's an unbound control but I'm going to modify this and I'm going to make it a calculated control. Now it's a little different in doing a query but if you're familiar with functions in Excel this will be really familiar to you because the what we're going to type looks very similar to an Excel function. Equals sum parentheses there we go. So this is a sum function. Now in the parentheses, what I want to do is I want to add up job pay. Now since this is a field, and say, wait, that's not one of the fields we made up. Yeah, it is a field. Job pay is now a field. I need to put this in square brackets. There we go. So I'm summing this up. And there's a little label associated with this text box. This would be an unbound control, since I can easily retype it here. I'm going to go ahead and call this um, total paid colon. And then I'm going to click report view so I can see how it looks. Scroll down a little bit. And sure enough, total paid 863. And that is, that is the total of all of these individual job pays. I'm going to do a little bit of formatting, just so it looks a little bit cleaner. So I'm going to jump back over to Design View. I'm going to right click on this control, go to Properties. It's the last on this list. You can't really see it on the recording here. It's the last on my menu. And I'm going to go to the Format choice, and then I will choose Currency. There it is. Then I can just close that. Now that's one of the changes I wanted to make. I also want my job pay total to kind of line up nice and neat. So I'm just going to drag this to the right and I'm going to ensure that it's right aligned. So now this will line up with my other job pay details. I can make this field a little bit narrower and I'm going to take my total paid label, bring that over, make sure that's right aligned. Total paid, right aligned, and let me see how this looks. There we go. So my total paid is $863. Now I would like to display subtotals, so to speak, for each of my three technicians that did jobs. Remember, I actually had four technicians in my table, but one of them didn't work during the time period here. So I'm going to go to Design View, and I want to put my technician subtotal in the technician last name footer, which I can't see. I see their header section, but not the technician last name footer. When you group, you can have headers and footers for a group. So let me display my group options. They show up down here at the bottom. I'm going to click the More button. With the header section is already displayed, but I want, um, ah, here we go, without a footer section, I want with the footer section. And this part's going to be pretty easy because it's going to be the same basic calculation. In fact, I can click this one, copy it, go to my footer section for technician last name, Control V to paste. There it is. I'll move this over to the right. Take the total paid label, move that over, and instead of this being called total paid, I'm going to call this technician total pay. And let me go ahead and make this just a little bit narrower, or shorter too, so that way it just fits better. go, just that there. All right, technician last name footer, go to report view. Fantastic. So now I see my technician total pay, and of course my grand total is still 863.